Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chloe vs. The World. And this is a very, very... You're on camera, Liam. I, I thought it was just you doing the first bit. The camera's on you the oh, whole time. Keep that yeah, in, keep yeah. that in. Wally <laughs> peeked over and Liam's just like, Wally's fine. I'm like, no, I'll check my for the snow. <laughs> I'm going to see tomorrow. Fine. I literally thought that was your bit, then we're going to drink. No, you're in the whole bit. <laughs> we discussed this earlier. Right, come on, go. So <laughs> if you didn't notice already, I have got my two favourite people in the world. We've got Millie and Liam. Woo! Hello. And we are... <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. This is about to be chaos, yeah. I think. <laughs> We are reporting live, well, not live, um, from the famous grey sofa because we've landed from Australia literally half an hour ago. Lie. Four hours ago. Four hours ago. Four hours ago. And we were a little bit can late Can anyone well. guess where we've been? <laughs> been to Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam. Oh, it's Australia, sorry. <laughs> Liam didn't even Do go. Do you like it? Yeah, I love it. I almost feel like I was there with you. Aww. Not stuck in freezing cold whales. Yeah. Next time. The good thing was that Merth half of Merthyr Tudville actually live in Bondi Beach. Yeah, they do. Literally that. Why literally has everyone in Merthyr Tudville moved to Australia then? I don't know. There's hardly anyone left in there, I don't know. I know. Your best mates there. <laughs> I know. I was just kicking stones. There's tumble <laughs> tumbleweed. Everyone's gone. The jokes have started. <laughs> <laughs> Before we started this pod, Millie telling what Liam said. He's, we were upstairs and he was like, right. <laughs> right By the mate, way, this is a way to wind Millie up. You know, no, it's, it's, it's not. My, it's dry, not. my dry sense of humour. And he goes, <laughs> tell him yeah. what type of sense of humour. <laughs> Wet as fuck. <laughs> Millie, Millie was in bed half asleep. I said, look, we got to get up. We're filming a podcast. <laughs> and she's like, oh, we'll just I'll wake up like five minutes before. I said, no, we need to be prepared. You know, I need to get my jokes planned and I need to get my sort of my speeches. I need to practice, I need to practice what I'm going to say. I can't just roll into the podcast. <laughs> Tell us a, one of your practice jokes. Bit of a big joke, deal. Yeah. <laughs> Tell no, us a joke. Told, you practice them. I've said them all now. I've said them all. No, do it for the podcast. Did anyone want here? No, I, I said them. I, I, literally, I literally can't make my joke right now. <laughs> Tony. Aww, Tony. Do the, do, um, I, I said that to you before. No one at home listening or watching heard it. Come on. What do you call a man with no shins? <laughs> <laughs> Tony! <laughs> what the fuck? This, Your turn. This is going to be my favourite episode. No, I don't know any. I've got a joke. Go on. Why has Noddy got a bell on his head? Because he's g***. <laughs> What? I don't get it either, but my mum always tells it. <laughs> <laughs> and she's won, like, joke uh, awards for it. Fuck it, At, no. like, you know, pub quizzes. So what, you never uh, thought what? to ask She's it? like, it, why, else was why in would the you awards? have a bell on your head? Because you're a <laughs> Obviously, bleep, bleep the C word. Like, why would you? If you came out and said a bell on your head, I'd be like... You're she won like, awards. Oh. Well, an award at a pub quiz. What was she up against? Like, the deaf, dumb and blind? I think Tawny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, stop! What? <laughs> what do you call uh, a man who digs holes? Dave. Doug. Doug. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a man who hates Dave. digging holes? Hates Dave. what? He hates digging holes. Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe, maybe I sent that one a bit wrong. I set that one up wrong. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't really make sense. Well, you got it, didn't you? Yeah, because I've heard it before. Oh, okay, probably said it before. <laughs> you probably said it before. He was practicing yeah. upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, so I picked Millie and Chloe up today from the airport. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> all week now, I've been telling Snapchat all I'm week, picking the girls up from Heathrow Airport, literally spoke to Millie, I'm picking up from Heathrow Saturday, and you go, yeah, yeah, babe, Heathrow. No, I didn't say yeah, Heathrow. Right, but yeah. you didn't You didn't not say yeah. Yeah, you? I just... Why so you this say morning now, Can you send me your flight details? Well, she sent me the flight number, but yeah. I just thought, like... She said, I'm landing at 20 to 12. I thought, sound. Heathrow, 20 to 12, I'll be there. <laughs> so this morning now, I am I think, oh, shit, I need to find out what terminal it is. So she did send me the flight number a couple of days before. So I checked it, put it on Google. Uh, right, okay, North Terminal, LGW. I was like, what's <laughs> LGW? And I realized then, that's London Gatwick. So I, I planned my journey, two hours 40 to get there. So that's a Heathrow. Put Gatwick in, three hours, 10 minutes. So you were like basically yeah, but then I was not only did I have to do that, I had to go down the skips this morning. I had to go to Tesco to get flowers for Millie. 
And yeah. what for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I was going to get, bar- get a rose for Chloe. Just like a single rose. <laughs> but I couldn't get a bouquet book- book- for Chloe and Millie because Why it takes not? like the sort of specialness away from just for Millie. Oh. So I was going to get Chloe a rose, just a simple rose. They didn't have, didn't but have also the flowers are just in our house anyway. So basically yeah. they're for both of So basically for both of you. Yeah, basically. So yeah, I was you late for the me girls. a chocolate bar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or like... Yeah. True. Yeah, but I feel like you've, you know, you've done a fair bit of eating. Not a double out Oh, 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 oh. That's no, we have. That's the problem. That's what I mean. I'm I like... lost literally, reckon two stone in barley because I had fucking barley belly. Yeah, that was hell. You still need to tell everyone that story. I know, but then I'm thinking, is it a solo thing? Right, move on then. <laughs> this is gonna be the funniest no. episode I think ever. Right, you only started part one yet. We're doing Chloe versus the headlines. Some of you may have seen. Love Island All Stars is back is on. Thoughts? Yes. Oh right. Well, we haven't actually watched, Not watched any of it because we've been. Fuck in... me if I've been tagged. Yeah, yeah. We've seen the clips. You have actually I've been, been watching, watching it. it. Yeah. Probably. I wouldn't watch it if I was you. Oh. <laughs> no. Enough. Not for any particular reason. I'm gonna watch the trailer. For what reason? What? Well, it's just nothing much going on. To be honest, it's a bit boring. <laughs> 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 that didn't interest me to watch. Uh, yeah, I've been watching it, and yeah, I didn't think it'd work actually, but it seems like it's sort of heating up. Good for them. Jake Good Ornish them. has sadly left the villa. Oh, Jake has oh. left. But, yeah, Hi, Jake. obviously made the right decision for himself, so I, I respect that. That was polite of you. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Josh Ritchie come back. Yeah, mm. I think he might be fun. He's gonna be fun. He's going to be fun. Very fun. Oh, you're quite a friend of him, aren't you? Yeah, I know Josh well. And he's, Do you? Yeah, he's quite mad. He's I'm very fun. I know him. <laughs> Ibiza. Oh, yeah. Him, you, him, and um, who's that guy from? Gaffney. Yeah, Gaffney. <laughs> Gaffers. They used to go on my... <laughs> we used to play more players together. Gaffney in, uh, uh, in Ocean Beach, you started showing me videos and, and pictures of them all on motorbikes, like going on like road trips. I was like, this is weird. I first met Josh, Gaffney? 2020. I knew Dean anyway before that. I met Josh 2020 and then I met Ryan as well. And um, we literally spent a month in Ibiza riding mopeds every day. We've seen Gaffney. That is we were like so uh, revving them up. I think we were going like 100 miles an hour. We were literally going 30 miles an hour. Are <laughs> <laughs> they like the scooters, like the ones in Bali? Yeah. yeah. They're fun, actually. It's dangerous. I need to come off of the first, well, the first 10 seconds. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. I've got the knack then. But Josh, uh, he's mad as a box of frogs. So is he's he? going to be fun in that villa. I've never had my phone, but I think it's blowing up more than when I came out of Love Island. Yeah, because of the timing, like it, we'd wake up and Love Island yeah, was on. Oh, so yeah. then you were just getting message after message. message. Yeah, I've been no. getting a lot of messages. Is Chloe, please tell us, is Chloe going on? No, every single yeah. person mm. just can't comment. They're know? just asking everyone around as well. Tell Chloe to go to South Africa. Why? Get her there now. Why? What's there for me? And I was in Australia, do you know what I mean? We were down under. Yeah. What were you doing when we were in Australia? Uh, Crying at the window. Over. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. We were down under, so he was over. Was I would have over? said up above. Up above, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the over, under, oh, around. You finished my joke off me. Um, I was in Wales, in freezing cold Wales. Did you do any panda events? Um, plug it, no. plug it. Didn't. The last panda <laughs> event we had, the last panda event we had was on the 29th. Between Christmas and New Year, but our next one's on the 9th of Feb in a brand new venue called Boho, and it's going to be a very, very good evening. For those that don't know what Panda Events is, what is it? <clears throat> it is a party event. Three keys in the bowl type of event, or? Three, <gasps> as in, well, you can't. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Swingers? What? Ah. <laughs> no, not yet, no. Oh, not yet. Coming. Coming, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> But no, yeah. No, we got a big, sorry. We got a big summer planned for Panda. Um, We actually rebranded and called it Panda, not Panda Events. Um, But it's going to be a big year. Winter is big. Exclusive. Yeah. Winter is obviously a difficult time for events, but when summer comes now, we'll be scaling up and bringing some very good parties. Do you know what DJ you need to get is DJ Hitty. Hitty. Run that shit. Yeah. Really? DJ Hitty. I don't think I have any to be He's fucking so play good. his tunes. He might be the best DJ, and I'm not even joking. He's hard. Like, there's just something about it when it comes on, you can't help yeah. but move. 
Actually, we have a good story <laughs> about... We have a good story. We've got loads of stories about Australia. They are coming. But we were so violently hungover. When? What day? When we heard it? this one song. Oh, it? yeah. But this wasn't DJ Hitty. No, it wasn't. Oh, like, yeah. It's a DJ. Like, yeah. Just EV segue there. But we were so hungover. And like normally on a hangover, we go through phases that like, we wake up, have a giggle, and then we kind of slump about. Millie will nap, I won't nap. Yeah. And then we'll get up and then really laugh about what happened. But that wasn't happening. It was a day of doom and gloom. And then someone I knew put on their story. They were at Circo Loco in Thailand. It was just the best song, song ever. And all of a sudden it was playing and we were like, Oh my gosh. She's got us in a good mood now. Send it's it! <laughs> we fucking went out again. We yeah. went out again. <laughs> and then the next day, they were horrendous again. Yeah. Did the song work the next day? No, we were watching mm. Swarms' TikTok oh, talent yeah. show. Oh. But so good. So good. Yeah. I missed that one. It was on TikTok. It's so good. It was like him. God, I don't know the other Mally. two. Mali. Mali Finesse. And Monica. God, you got good memory. They were on TikTok We watched live. it for about four hours. It was, <laughs> it was so good. No, we literally was in bed, literally four hours. I so had my good. phone prop. We kept changing phones of like, yeah. because it was just long. The angle to hold it up. But it was so good. It, it was like him and these two people and they would just get like random. They'd like, someone would request to go on TikTok live and they would sing, but like, were there any, there was like a country singer and they were really good, but they were all like, nah, I don't think the, it's yeah, the UK is not for you. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't just sing her. And then like if we get a couple of girls come on singing Adele, didn't they? There was this woman. She was obviously fresh from a night out. It must be like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. UK time. Was she Irish? No, she just was. Welsh? She went mm. London. She was from London. No. She was... There's not many other places in the UK apart from fucking Ireland, Wales and London. What, what? Scotland Name two. and that's it. Well, Manchester is a completely different accent to London. Could have been from Manchester then. Oh, yeah. Birmingham. Is, couldn't be, she wasn't from London, is what I'm saying. She was fucking <laughs> steaming. She was like, I'm, thank you so much. For getting, she knew she was fucked. <laughs> she just said, thank you for getting me on. I'm just belted out like the worst singing ever. And they were all going, shut up, shut up. <laughs> she didn't stop singing. She was pissed out by Red and then she, was, she started getting Larry with them. We started off with Britain's Got Talent and X Factor, and now we've got TikTok. TikTok yeah, it's real. It's more relatable. It was good. Yeah, no, I can understand that. It's well hard to get on Britain's Got Talent. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, we're in a different location, which brings me on to my next. Ah! Shop Fry! Yes. Right down discount code. I need this. Right. So, whilst I cannot wait to get back to my set, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying filming this ad for my home comforts. And that is what Shopify can do for you. Because you can run your business, big, small, medium, large, you name it, all from the comfort of your own home, from your phone. Shopify is an e-commerce platform that is revolutionizing businesses worldwide. In fact, actually, my mate Jazz has got a swimwear brand out in Australia. It's called Good Swim. We were wearing it. Plug it. She was showing me how she runs her business literally from her phone. She could see like how many people were on the website, where they were coming from, like if they'd seen on Instagram, ads, etc. Like it was actually really sick. So Shopify can connect you to all new customers around the world. So you could be connected to me, Big Lee. Oh, I just realised I call you Big Lee and Big Mills. I didn't even know that was the thing. Big, big couple. <laughs> <laughs> big Lee and Big Mills. <laughs> Do you like being called Big Mills? Yeah. It's, it's p powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so every time so Millie's under pressure and she has to say an adjective, it's the most fucking random adjective? <laughs> when do you say powerful? Or no, like when you're like special. special? Anyways, you could be connected to me or the big couple. <laughs> <laughs> the big couple over here. Yeah. If you want simple online selling or in person, that is exactly what Shopify does. Meaning you can be a girl boss or a boy boss or any type of boss you want to be from home. Down the park, would you be? I mean, you could be at a Chinese restaurant <laughs> doing your business. I don't know could be anywhere it. in the world. You could, yeah. No matter where you are. It could be an Indian you. restaurant, Chinese restaurant, yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. And you can even run your business with the Apple Shopify across social media, <laughs> such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Slay Bells. Having your own business can be tiring and time consuming, but with a platform like Shopify, it doesn't have to be because Shopify basically does it all for you. It makes selling your stunning products so much easier and all the back end. So basically, if you're running a business, get Shopify. I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't know why you wouldn't take the pressure off. You guys are starting a business. You can get it for one pound per month. Imagine having your own little assistant, not even your own little assistant, someone just run a manager, getting a little manager running it for one pound a month. Wow, I've just realized how much money you're saving. 
Bargain. Absolute bargain. So to sign up for a one pound per month trial period, all you have to do is go to shopify.co.uk slash Chloe. Okay, it's that easy. Go to shopify.co.uk slash Chloe to take your business to the next level today. Go on, sign up and get your one pound per month trial. Right. Now we've done that, it's time to introduce today's guest. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we've been to Australia. You were in Wales. You're actually not English, you're Welsh. I'm 100% poor Welsh. Poor Welsh. Well, I've been living in Essex for three years. What type of maths was that? Not three years. Two and a half years. Not that either. Yeah. Yeah, since Love Island. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then we'll straight after the show. Two and a half years. So I feel like we would have English in me. Half a percent. Ninety-nine point. Actually, I'm 34% Irish. I forgot to say I'm actually not 100% Welsh. Oh. Mm. Leech, big 30, liar, 30, big liar. 34% Welsh and 60... No, 34% Irish, 66% Welsh. Is that right? Well, no. Millie, Millie's yeah. like 5% Welsh now. She tried speaking Welsh every week. Yeah. Did you see that? Uh, did you think I did a good job? When did you try speaking Welsh? Did you not watch it? Do you not watch my game? fucking podcast? Um, I think I did, yeah. Pemboy Habilis. Oh, I seen her, seen her, seen her, seen her. I, yeah. it. No, no. I swear down, I seen her, seen her. And I, I can do it. Let Pemboy Habilis. Yeah, yeah, you get it. You said, really? you said Pemboy Habilis CT. Pemboy Habilis CT. <laughs> Pemboy Habilis CT. Pemboy Habilis to you, Chloe. Pemboy Habilis CT. Is that the national anthem? Uh, <laughs> Joking. What's the national? Uh, What's the national? Wallard. <laughs> <Quart. laughs> what? Do you actually know it? Yeah, I need to learn it properly. I think that's the start of it. What? Wallard. Wallard. <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you speak? Do you actually speak Welsh? Uh bits of Welsh. I learned it in school, but I kind of just haven't done it for years now, so I kind of forgot. Do you speak yeah, Spanish or German? Uh, I know a bit of Spanish. Yeah. Go on then. Um, I think you know more Spanish than you do Welsh. Yeah, I think, but I've um, I've got oh, my you Spanish. Live in Ibiza. Yeah, it's actually learned quite a bit. I was working with a lot of Spanish people. You know, if um, you were going to pick up Spanish again, you could use Babbel. 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 Um, I think I've heard of it, not fully. Okay, well, it's an app or an online service, and basically, it can just help you learn another language, just like day-to-day conversations, phrases to get you around. So, if you go back, you're definitely going back to Ibiza. I don't know why I said if. Yeah. When you go back to Ibiza, you usually yeah. get married there. Oh, yeah. We actually said we would do that. Maybe we can just... And then we'll get Babbel to help us... Do well, maybe we draw vowels in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah, so you... vowels in Spanish and... Spanish vowels. Oh. We'll have to do a good revise on Babbel first though. Yeah. Babbel is basically like your language coach because it gives you like feedback and stuff. So if you're doing badly, they'll probably be like, ooh, do a bit better. Well, that's actually good because when I first come back to my Ibiza, I thought, right, I'm going to download an app now to learn, keep learning Spanish. But it was just so complicated and it was literally just... Yeah. It's just like reading a book and it wasn't it wasn't helpful enough. So that um, sounds very good. Yeah. All right, if you want to download it right now, I'll give you six months for free if you use the code. Oh. This is for exclusive Chloe versus Wild listeners and guests. And guests. Lovely. Yeah. A big couple. I would say big in Spanish. Uh <laughs> Grande. 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 Yeah. You can use my code, which is Chloe, C H L O E, and you get six months free. That's so decent. That's good. That's B A B B E L dot com slash play P L A Y. And then use the promo code Chloe at checkout. Chloe is C H L O E for those of you that don't know. Babel, learning language that works. Right. Next segment is Chloe versus Australia, but actually it's Chloe and oh. Millie. Clamil. Clem Clem <laughs> No. No. Clamil. You can't use that, surely. Why? That's what we call ourselves. Chlamydia. No, like <laughs> what is that? We like <laughs> What? I never knew that. I never knew that one. No, it's more like Camille. Yeah. Right, so we were in Australia and we're fucking moving. Yeah. I'm not fucking leaving. (laughs) (laughs) We was actually quite depressed leaving, wasn't we? I've never been to, like, normally when we go on holiday, I'm actually like, yeah, I'm ready to come home. I was in a foul, I'm still in a bad mood about it. I can tell. Yeah, she, did you see her Snapchat with the black screen? <laughs> Bad mood, nobody talks to me. <laughs> Do you not remember when you were younger? Yeah. I mean, this is only if you were a bit weird. And I did it on B- <laughs> on BBM. Did you have a black brain? No one talks to me, it, me yeah. in the mood. What's wrong, babe? What's wrong? Nothing. It's fine. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Black screen. So when people, they go to hospital, they like, take a photo of their band in hospital. Oh, Post yeah. Post it. Oh my God, everything okay? What's happened? 
it's fine, nothing to worry. Yeah. What the fuck are you posting anyway? Yeah, though? yeah, yeah, yeah. I completely agree. <laughs> Did you do that one? Um, no, never. I actually I actually spoke with us the other day. I can't remember the last time I was in a hospital. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about don't 12 jinx years. it. Yeah, don't jinx it. Don't You're never that. going back to a hospital again. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, best trip ever. What a some funny moment. I have a funny fucking story. I don't know if you saw me. There's so many things that could come out of my mouth right now. Yeah, yeah? a lot happened. But maybe the funniest day was Blue Mountain Day. Oh Did we tell my you that? god, it's fucking so funny. You well, know what we're gonna say with them, um, Omar, Omar, good friend, Omar. Basically, I don't yeah, know what you happened. You didn't tell me much, so you saw, yeah, the spill of beans. You two were I, always on yeah, the phone. What are you on the phone. Every night. What are you when I was wa- When I was going to bed, well, when I was nighttime for me, it was morning for you. Yeah, well, you wouldn't wake up until travel. about 11 o'clock. Yeah, that's what I mean. Time. So, so I my morning food. was right off, but our, our evening, we would speak. Anyway. So I landed from Bali. And at this point, I didn't really care what happened to me. Like, I was kind of gone. <laughs> and this man in a shiny suit, nice watch, comes over and goes, do you need a taxi? And I went, yeah. <laughs> and he took my cases and I got in his car. A bit weird, but he was Do you remember actually... when he asked you, why did you trust me? Oh, yeah. And when and I, I came like, over to you. I don't fucking know. I was hoping you would actually just kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, That's what I was hoping. Um, so anyway, I got the car and he was a taxi driver. And then I sent him to pick up Millie the next day. Mm. When he was in the car as well, I was thinking this is quite dodgy Chloe like he could kill you right now um he was like what do you do for work and I was like oh, I'm an accountant <laughs> and he was like yeah you, he's like you look like one and I was just in such a bad mood anyway so they picked Millie up and he was like telling us all the things that we should do so on one day we had a really wholesome day we got up at mm, half four in the morning yeah it was so nice that we did that yeah and we went to go and watch. Oh, for fuck's sake. This day starts off bad. <laughs> and it and gets it, worse. Yeah, literally got worse. <laughs> we got up half four in the morning and Omar picked us up. And he was like, oh, there's this amazing cave to watch the sunrise. And we, and we told all our, like, we yeah. randomly knew, like, loads of people in Australia, like, well, no one told knew him, where this no cave one was. Knew, knew no one knew about the cave for sunrise. We were like, oh, right, he's literally going to drive us off a cliff. <laughs> so... He's taken us at half four in the morning. And like, we walk out the hotel, right? And he's wearing a suit and shiny <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Man makes a dress mark. Truly, yeah. It's like dress shoes. Black yeah. dress shoes. <laughs> this is very We're relevant. To go on a the fucking tax way to so kill as you. As the story progresses, those shoes are very key. Yeah. But anyway, so he's picked us up, drove us to like the side of the road where we're traipsing over a golf course where we meet a cliff <laughs> edge. And he then just kind of goes down. Yeah, like we're like stumbling through this like <laughs> broken path, like thinking, where is he taking us? And it was like a hole in, in the side of the cliff. It wasn't a cave. No. Anyway, so we sat there half four, we're looking, no, it's about five o'clock now. Sunrise is like 20 minutes. So we're just kind of sat there with my mum. Right, so, got- wait, 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 so you, you met some random guy <laughs> outside the airport. Yeah. <laughs> then you didn't know who he was. Somehow he's an accountant. <laughs> then he picks up at half four in the morning. No, I'm the yeah, accountant. Yeah, to go to a And then you get my girlfriend involved with your oh, fuck shenanigans. Off. I didn't have a gun to her head. And, <laughs> and then there's some random accountant that's picking up a half four in the morning. Random accountant! To show you <laughs> places in Australia accountant. in a tuxedo or shiny shoes. Yeah. Didn't you think, well, maybe you should just get a tour guide or like a taxi driver? Well, well, well he told funny us. you say that. He is a tour guide by trade. Well, an, account, from, an accountant on the side. He's from like Jordan. Angelina Jolie. He's got pictures of Angelina Jolie. Yeah, yeah like, and did he try you. kidnapping her and fucking hiding in a cave as well? Probably. She wasn't there. He's clearly like... Yeah. She's gifted yeah. him yeah. a designer bag. Actually, have you heard anything from Angelina Jolie, Jolie in the past 10 years? She gifted him a designer bag. Yeah. To say yeah. thank you for your... You do a lot guy. of things if you've got a gun, Jared. <laughs> Anyways, well, so we're in this hole in the cliff, not a cave. No, he, 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 sat, he sat there, <laughs> sat down and he goes, just look out. And enjoy it. <laughs> and we were like, we Can't wanted, to, see we wanted to chat. We wanted to chat, yeah. you know, because the whole of the UK is up right now, you know, like <laughs> we, we, there's stuff to talk about. And he was going, shh, breathe it. And I'm just like, okay. So we're looking out <laughs> for the sunrise. We're there for about half an hour. <laughs> no sun is rising. We can't see anything, anything coming up, right? <laughs> but then above, like in the sky, See sort of a bit of an orange light. We're like, oh, 
Is oh, that something like a lamp? Yeah, so, is that sh <laughs> shining up from below or? Yeah, we thought it was a reflection. Like we could see this kind of tinted orange ball well above where it would yeah. rise from. That was the sunrise. Missed yeah. it. Missed it because mm. it was so, so fucking cloudy. cloudy. <laughs> So then, did you, just, did you carry on your day spending with Omar? Yeah, yeah, we did. We went to. Uh, then he took us to this famous coffee place. It was actually really cute. It's called Brew Coffee. B R U. You should go. Um, we didn't get mm. any coffee because, but it was so early. I kind of wanted to go. Blue Mountains is like two hours away from Bondi. Yeah. So, so anyways, together. So we had a cup of tea. And you had you had a peppermint, peppermint tea. tea. Nice. It was so fun. But you hot. can't leave with yeah, the No, they give you like cups from like a house. You can't it's Mugs, not take away yeah. cups. You have to sit there and drink. Is that because they do lower litter, maybe, do you think? Maybe. Yeah, Bondi's really clean actually. Yeah. Anyway, so we went there, but he sat with us, it was kind of weird. I think people like we were in shorts and a t shirt and he was in a suit. I think people thought <laughs> that I was security. Security. Or? Security. We was getting if weird I didn't looks. Know you both. We were getting well, he weird was getting weird looks because he was in a suit walking <laughs> up and down a mountain. So yeah, then we drove two hours to Blue Mountain, turned up, and it might have been the cloudiest day recorded in history. <laughs> so we're at Blue Mountain, Could which meant anything. to be the most beautiful view you've ever seen <laughs> in your life. Couldn't see one fucking no. thing. What? Couldn't see anything. You're meant to see for miles and miles, like flowers of. It was just pure. We were in a cloud. And then he was like, let's walk down Aww. into the cloud. So he's like, these like death drops, right? It's a fucking hike. And he's in his fucking shoe. <laughs> this is where the shiny shoe park comes in. Yeah. yeah. So we're like traipsing down this mountain. We've gone for about 10 minutes. And then like, it's not getting any clearer. It's actually getting Worse. More, <laughs> more foggy. Yeah. I look at Millie and she was like, should we just fucking turn around? I was like, yeah. Of course, I said that. Of course, you I said was, that. I was looking at all the stairs going down. I'm thinking there's only one way up, and that's <laughs> getting up those fucking stairs. And I ain't fucking going down anymore. So, Chloe, there's nothing to see here. I Let's wanted go. you to say Let's... like five minutes yeah. ago, but I was like, but Chloe was literally walking down like she'd pooed her pants. <laughs> I was she's that scared. Myself. I'm not that's joking so you. These fuck. I'll have to send you the picture, Mum. But the, the stairs are so steep, Chloe. Like, and like, it's wet because obviously we're in a cloud. So it's like, was it particularly? Um, condensation. <laughs> Precipitation. I don't know. Pers Precipitation. Precipitation, yeah. I don't fucking what? know. And it's not a it. word quiz right now. Omar is the driver. <laughs> yeah, but what happens then? Uh, like, fuck knows. But fuck me, did we pay him a lot of money for that yeah. day? He's a con artist. I said, I was like, you look really smart. And he was like, I oh, know, I should pack my trainers. I was thinking, what for? How old is he? 50. Yeah. Was he a nice, cute guy? He was really sweet. Yeah, he was really nice. Oh, that's nice. No, he was really nice. Is he nice the one who was trying to get you up on that fence to have a photo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we walk. So we. So that was like the three sisters bit. And we were like, fuck that. We can't see anything. Walk back up. Still can't see anything. So we went and got some food. And then after that, there was like a waterfall. So we were like, oh, let's go go down the waterfall. And then Omar's decided that he will now be a photographer, <laughs> driver, tour guide, photographer, best dressed at this point. And so we're like walking <laughs> along and he was like, come here, come here. <laughs> and making us do like barbaric things. Just like big, but the pictures are so, like they're fucking funny. And obviously they're like, when we look back. Like, yeah, they're so good. But at the good. time, like the waterfall was so busy and he was like, Climbing that tree. It's covered in cobwebs. Obviously, I'm in Australia. I'm not trying to battle a spider right now. He's going, get in that tree. I was like, I don't want to. And he was like, get in that tree. I'll take a picture. He's like, like, it's okay. It's okay. Get up. Get up there. Get up there. And <laughs> so Chloe's like, she's going, <laughs> like, he's climbing this tree. And I'm just filming her, like, ah, laughing my head off. And, like, and then, then he's like, making us walk in the waterfall. Like, yeah. we've already ruined our trainers at this point. I'm more concerned about his shoes. She's us walk through the water. Go yeah. there. Go there. Go there. She's got a Mary's on. I've got fucking driver's got yeah. drivers. <laughs> get in the water. I was like, Fuck, and then once, then we were walking through this one path, and he found this like <laughs> tree that was like you know bent over at the right. sidewalk. Anyway, he's gone, come here, come here. And he's done like this, and he's put it over his head. He said, "I'm gonna take a picture like that." So now I'm holding this this literal massive leaf over mine and Chloe's forehead, and just posing underneath it. <laughs> and he's like, he's so proud of every single part oh, of it. Yeah. Bless and then he starts making us climb like fences. <laughs> yeah. And we got told off. We got we... told off. They were like, this is a national park. And we were like, what do you mean? And they were like, stop climbing everywhere. But obviously, Omar's telling, I don't know. And then, then 
We were like, do you want a picture? Like, you know, just scenic thing. He then climbs into the bush on top of a rock. I said, you, I'll fucking send you the picture. He's just in the middle of like this rock. And he's yeah. Posing. This old man was like, this you do realise this is a national park. I went, yeah, what do you mean? And he was like, well, you don't stick to the paths. <laughs> A bunch of monkeys slamming on. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Oh, it was funny. Yeah, we weren't funny. damaging anything. So, but he yeah. was really cute. Was, he was then what kept trying do? to link my arm though, wasn't he? He fucking fancied Millie so much. Lick your arm. I literally felt like a dead girl. <laughs> lick. What was he? He licked her arm. Is that what you're saying? She's trying to lick my arm. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> only I lick. Only I lick that arm. Let me fucking tell you. <laughs> link. Oh, link. Yeah. And he just kept like really, really like just. He literally wouldn't give me eye thing. contact. He only looked at Millie, and I was just like, "What am I doing?" And then, like, Fucking he then right. obviously the now number? decided he's in love with Millie. So, like, he was just offering her photo shoots, and I was just yeah. there, like, "Can so I have my picture taken?" Walk it off, and then, then he just go, "Come here," <laughs> and he go, "Stand there," and he yeah. just start taking photos of me on my own. I don't quite like the story. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, give and me your Mars number. And then he bought us lunch. Mouth. He actually bought the lunch. He bought us lunch. Did he buy yeah. you both lunch or just Millie? Yeah, <laughs> not sure. Well, Probably no, we just both Millie. ate. Uh, what else? And then after that, then he basically kept ringing me every day. Yeah. We were walking what along and Millie Sorry. got shat on. Like, right? <laughs> yeah. Lit. And he fucking Lit. grabbed her by her shoulder, drags her, finds a random sink in the middle of nowhere and just dunks her head in it. And he's, <laughs> he's cleaning his bird yeah. shop. And Millie's looking at me like, what am I doing? I'm filming. Yeah. Filming. We've nothing. got another and picture of that. And he sends you all these clips and something really funny. So that was a good thing that happened in Australia. What else happened? We met half of Murpha. Yeah, loads oh. of Liam's friends. So many of Liam's friends. There's loads of them out there. Mm. Your be- any best ma- any mate. Any more Omar's after you? Any other men chasing oh, after he's you? Oh, pissed off, look. <laughs> Wipe- wiping bird shit off you. Linking arms. Um, Just say you're jealous and get over it. Literally with another man. In Australia, I'm linking arms. Old. No, I'm better than Tour me. Tour guide. No. Yeah, half a mirror has Tour guide Australia. driver. Your best friend, to be exact. Yeah, Charlie. Yeah, he actually moved out there three months ago now. Yeah. They literally babysat us. We didn't know what we were doing. And we met Jordan, who is the fucking funniest <laughs> man on the planet. So and funny. Do you want to know? He's fucking famous. Yeah. There's shit loads of articles about him. <laughs> what for? Do you know the story? You know the story. Know the story. Tell <laughs> the story. Tell the story. He wants. Well, some people may not like it. You once stole a lamb <laughs> from the mountain, from a, up the mountain, and then went to Nando's and took the lamb into Nando's with him. Well, we so then he's banned from too. Nando's. He was all in the press. He can't go, go to, to jail. America. He didn't can't go to jail. Go to America. No. I think he might have done community service. Maybe I don't know. Because he's got a criminal record. You can't, can't go, go to America. America. Yeah, he stole a lamb. Yeah, but. Just want to let you know the lamb was unharmed. It was returned safely back to his home. Uh, yeah. He actually told us that yeah. the lamb, well, it's sheep called now, Nando's. It's called Nando's, still alive in the mountains. Uh, really? Like he looks after, yeah. yeah. Someone's got Fair it. Enough. Because apparently, the reason why he couldn't get too, too much of a bad, bad thing from it was because uh, if it's a lamb, it's not actually stamped and owned by a farmer, yeah? Like, that's, of course, they are. Is that what? That's a complete and utter lie. <laughs> All lambs what, are not like. What do you drink the lambs yeah, in the so farm? They... Finding lambs in the wilderness. No, yeah, so they couldn't st- like they couldn't try trial back whose lamb that was. So he right. didn't. He, he's not actually theft. I don't oh, know. Fair. That's fine. I don't know how true that is. Yeah. There's a literal spider hanging from the ceiling. Why? But it, it just came really low and it's back up. Do you hear? Fucking kill it. Oh shit! Yeah. It's, here. Here. Moment, it's like a see-through. It's a money spider. Hopefully, I'll get loads of money now. Whoa! No, 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 like spiders. <laughs> you just said you went to Australia. I knew you. We didn't see we any. We didn't see one. No, I didn't see, didn't see any. I got bit by one, though. Got bit by what? Fucking. Did you see any snakes? Big snake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got an Airbnb for the weekend in um, Bondi, <laughs> and it had grass by the pool, and something fucking came and bit me, and it I really know, weird hurt, and then it swelled up, and I thought, oh my God, is it a spider? And I was literally having a panic attack, and my friend was like, you need to buy this spray now. I was like, oh God, so I'm on, you know, <laughs> online trying to buy this spray, because you can get everything delivered, but it's literally just an ant. I'll show you some of the deadliest spiders in the world. That's why I, I highly myself. doubt fucking yeah. a spray from the local shop is going to save you. On that and one. I think yeah, you... my mate was having me on. It was a prank. Oh, really? So like, you don't need that spray. I fucking ordered it. Oh, okay? it was a prank. Well, because I thought you, you said pranked. it was a spider. 
Because then I've gone on Snapchat and said it was a spider. And it was in the newspaper. And then it was in the newspaper. My dad was like, is Chloe okay? I heard she's got bitten by a spider. No, she's dead. She's dead. She just yeah. dead. She's, her foot's been cut off now. That was good. I'm trying to think what else funny happened. I'm going to tell Ellie's story on the solo pod because that's quite long. Yeah, it's yeah. Fuck the funniest yeah. story ever. That's a good story. Millie actually decided to be the funniest person on holiday. I'm not surprised by that. Um, did a lot of shopping. We had to buy another suitcase. Whoops. Yeah. That was bad. Uh, what else did we do? <laughs> went shopping, went shopping. Okay. We went to... One you story, so one funny? story about old man. You can't, you can't remember anything else. Because that was <laughs> bad stories. Because it's funny. I know. What <laughs> other stuff is not appropriate? One of the most hottest tourist places in the world. Hot. And you told one to- thing about some old man guy. You literally. All right, fine. We did the Bondi to Could You Walk. That was fucking great. Amazing. Yeah, I'll give us that. <laughs> yeah, that was really. Some good. people here. Think, I, I, some of your viewers literally might be thinking about moving to Australia. Fucking do it. And you I'm could be going. telling them here all the amazing things they could be doing. Oh yeah, Bondi to Could You Walk. That was good. We thought we. I Everyone was, was like, riders. it's going to take you four hours, four hours. We were like, shit. So I put trainers on Millie's one <laughs> fucking slide, pool slide. Pool slide. For the walk. Blisters at the end of the wall. And we, but we thought, everyone said it's like four hours. We did it an hour and 20. And we thought, I was like, Smash it, it must be like 20K. Google it, 6K. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes everyone four hours and it? it took you two hours. Yeah, but I think people like stop off. We just walk. Did you do the full route? Yeah, yeah, we did. We literally. Well, what our plan was was stop halfway at a bar, there were none. Get a drink, obviously. <laughs> we couldn't find one, so we just went the whole way because we knew at the end that there was definitely a bar. Yeah, could you pav? That's what apparently yeah. vibes on a Sunday vibes. Could you pav? And, Where else did we do? Um, Totti's restaurant, best Italian I've ever had in my unreal. life. Mr. Wong. Best pan Asian I've ever had in my life. The food in Sydney is the best Unreal. food. Oh, Everywhere Bills you go for breakfast. Bills, and he's dead now. He literally oh, died yesterday. Died yesterday. What was the other one called? Mr. Wong. Mr. Mr. Wong. Wong. There's one nice one similar to that called Mr. White. Mr. White, I knew. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bad one. Oh, <laughs> so shit. coming. The best place to go in Sydney for fun and vibes. But everywhere shuts really early. Is Ravisi's. They have live music and they just play bangers. Yeah, and everyone goes to this place called Beach Road. Yeah, which I kind of felt like was like the weather spoons of yeah, Australia. It was. Like it was like it wasn't red cheap, carpet though. vibes. It was certain bits. Oh my god! Yeah, no, they've got like a club upstairs. Yeah, and that is the hottest I've ever been in my life. I took my makeup off in the toilet. I was just pure. There was no aircon, and I, I don't think I've ever f- felt. He I felt it. sick. I had to sit down. Normally, I'm shelling it down. I was sitting shelling down. Shelling it down. Yeah. Shelling down. Like, did you have to stay there? Wasn't anywhere else you could have gone? There's not many places. Didn't everything shut quite early out there? Yeah, it all shuts at like 12. Yeah, there's only mm. one bar that's open till 4 a.m. and that's Bondi Hotel. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called. You go there? Yeah, I went there. Lots of Acon and like Sia vibes, um, music. Locked up. Let you, um, what oh, we were in the city. So in the first, for the first week, we were in the city, which is called the CBD, CBD, business district, city business district, central, central, and then went <laughs> to <laughs> Bondi afterwards. Yeah, if you're going to Sydney, don't stay in the city. It's not yeah, really Bondi's the place to be. Yeah. But we were stayed in North Bondi and then Bondi. And North Bondi was so much more expensive, wasn't it? But such nice places. Yeah, but we stayed in that. We stayed in like an apart hotel at the end. That was good. Adina, oh, yeah. it was called. Adina, and then we t- Airbnb the other one, which had a pool. Was but fuck me, was it expensive? It was... Right, next section. Yeah. Chloe and big couple versus the week. Oh, Gypsy oh! Rose! Oh my God, Gypsy Rose was released in place when we fucking watched the act. This, Australia. yeah. Bloody watched it. It's so good. So yeah. good. So, so good. So good. This is what I told you to watch. I need a way. You guys take this bit. It's so... <laughs> oh, oh. oh. Jim... <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. It's caught on. I know, the glasses, the glasses. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> what? <laughs> you upset. No, we'll wait for you. Um, do you, remember, do you know Gypsy Rose? I, I, I think you mentioned. 
some in some woman woman sends a daughter to prison or mother goes to prison about something, is it? No, that she kills her mum because her mum had m- m- Munch- Munchausen. Munchausen. Yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah. yeah. Mun- Munchausen. Munchausen. By proxy, yeah. What's that? Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you like want people around you to be ill. So you oh, she kept thinking her daughter was ill. And yeah. She, she, like, what and then she kept giving her medication. Yeah. yeah, she basically like. Gave oh, her and then, didn't, then the boyfriend then kill plan with the yeah. girl to kill I've the mother. I've told you this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then she killed the mother. Did did, did they actually kill the mother? Yeah, stabbed yeah. her. Yeah, she stabbed her. So who's out of prison? The daughter, Gypsy, the, daughter. the daughter, and her boyfriend stabbed her mum, and she's she went to prison for it, but didn't get as long as him because. She obviously had the monchos and my proxy from her mum, and she was. I think the boyfriend was the one who stabbed yeah. her. Gypsy Rose, yeah, didn't. Right, okay. So free her then. So she's she's not murder. She's a fucking victim. Yeah, she, well, she's she planned. Yeah, but she planned, planned with him. murder, didn't she? She basically mm. told him to do it. Yeah, she, she was a part of it. But she got the same thing the mother had, you said. No, she No, was she, it happened to her, so I think the judges felt. Like, so yeah, so she her. she had a uh, she fucking had a tube in her stomach. She wasn't even ill. Yeah, yeah they Bold. told her she had cancer. So she, she, yeah, so she had sort of a, a reason for not not that she had a motive. A motive, yeah, yeah. Because her mother literally doing all that. And so it. she's like, so she's been released from prison, right? She's got something like, well, when I last checked, four million followers. No, it's like seven point eight million when we checked that time. Fuck off! Yeah. How many, much is it now? Like everyone's obsessed with it. See, I watched this series like years ago. You do? Yeah. Wow. Go on, Gypsy Rose. Right? Get in your fucking bag, girl. Get her a fresh hands on. Get her a podcast. Get her a fresh hands on. <laughs> everyone loves noodles. Everyone loves noodles. <laughs> yeah, free her. Well, she's free now. Right, next thing. Salt Burn. Have you fucking watched it? Yes. Uh, and... What a fucking film! <laughs> Me and Millie watched Salt Burn over Christmas. Yeah. And look, I didn't know where it was going for so long. Like, I was just like... What's going on? Are they both like, what's the guy's names? Uh, Barry and Barry Keo and yeah. Are they like liking each other? Is something going to happen between them two? Then he just kills him. Well, he dies, doesn't he? I don't know if it, it doesn't. Spoiler alert! <laughs> <laughs> Look, I spoiled fool me once. People, I plan my story, and literally everyone's like, "Oh my god, you spoiled it for me!" So Sorry. yeah, maybe Spoiler. you shouldn't do that. Yeah. Well, look. Just I think it. Barry. Ke- oh, did you say his name? Keogan. Yeah. Keogan. I think he's going to be like the actor of the world. Yeah, he's yeah, killing he's it. George Clooney vibes. really good. Yeah. We fucking need to watch that film. Yeah. Sacrificing Chloe's Sacred Deer or something. You'll have to watch it. He's, he's in, in it, it. Barry. You'll have to watch it. But yeah, it was a real, it was good. It was a good ending. And it's funny how like he actually planned it all from the get-go. He put, he punctured the tire. Do you want to know a fun fact? Do you want to know what it's based on? Right, yeah. The Minotaur. Greek mythology. Uh-huh. Yeah, because the Minotaur, is that, is it the Minotaur? Yeah. Yeah. Minotaur, because you know he has the ears at the end. It's all listen. This film has got so many layers, but it's all about the Minotaur. And basically, in Greek mythology, the Minotaur was like really ungrateful for their position in life, so they got kicked out, and then right. they fucking ruined everyone else to get back to the top. And obviously, Barry is sorry. Am I boring you? <laughs> <laughs> it's Greek mythology. It's fucking so riveting. It's a bit black, you know. Yeah, jet lag. <laughs> based on that, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> um, <laughs> right, so I might have to rewatch it so I can go back through and see it. I'll watch it again. Because when you watch it, when you watch I, yeah, films, I want, I want to watch it again. Yeah. And then now, right, sorry guys, the podcast is over now. We are no, doing we're this. doing a review, a live review. Um, yeah, when you watch films like that, with so much context and a lot, like, quite complicated, you you miss a lot of things. We're just trying to find out who's the killer, who's this. You know, sorry, I'm moving. Um, <laughs> so you miss a lot of nice. things. So it's good to rewatch. Like I watch films. 10, 15, 20 times over and over, don't I? That's, like, I watch films over and that. over you and over. You watch it a hundred times. Yeah, yeah I watch it over and, and over. And you don't even watch the whole film. You just flick to like the five oh my God, minutes yeah. bit you want to watch. I literally watch the whole film. Like, I've no, you don't. I've seen go on Sky and you will go actually on movies section on Sky as in like live tel- telly yeah. and just play a film halfway yeah. through. <laughs> my two favourite films, weird. my all-time favourite films is Jaws and Armageddon. I've seen Armageddon Crap. so many times. Crap. If we literally Crap. had a meteorite coming to Earth, they would call me. And I would go up there and solve the mission myself. Why would you? Because I've seen that film so many times. I know exactly how, what what we have to do to what? save the earth. Go on then, what? Yeah. Literally. Say it in 10 us. seconds, what? Fly a fat spaceship up there. Where are you getting a spaceship from? NASA. We're going to lend it to me. All right, good. Fly there, give my do massive... Do you know how to fly a spaceship? Yeah, I'll get my friend who's a pilot. A spaceship <laughs> What pilot? friend is that? 
I'll pay him, I did. Is he alive? He's, from the, he's alive, yeah, he's on the other. Is he alive? Yes, he is, yeah. <laughs> um, get a massive drill, drill through here, drop a bomb down, boom, happy days. Perfect. Where have you, you seen Armageddon? No. Well, they're obviously so not understanding what I'm on about them. so long. Have you seen Iron Man? Yes. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Literally far fetched a bit. Okay, anyways, the next point that I want to talk about is, have you watched Corner. The Bear? The Bear. No, he no, doesn't I've like theories. Seen the cocaine bear. Of course, you the are. cocaine bear. This is a film. He's <laughs> probably watched like it three. I'm not a massive fan of series. You watch it? What's your favourite minute that you like to rewatch? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, he has a massive slug. <laughs> <God>. um, <laughs> I'm not a massive fan Jane. of series. I like a start, middle, and end, and that you know, and that's it. Series go on for so long, like. You know, that's weeks and weeks of money to take over your life. However, you I really can't... liked Fool Me Once. Yeah, because I it. Could we finished it in one day. I binged it. Whereas you got series. Well, you can watch The Bear in a day because they're yeah. half an hour episodes. Perfect. I hate series. Watch five five series long. 20 episodes each one. Oh, what time for that? It takes over your life. Right. Anyways, Jeremy Allen White, who is the main character in it, did the Calvin Klein shit and fucked me as a bit. Really? <laughs> no. I missed yeah, that one. get it up, get it up. <laughs> I missed that one. Wasn't looking out for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's Googling Ka- Calvin Klein. Fit man, Calvin Klein. <laughs> yeah. And Didn't. Jeremy Allen White's fucking coming up, mate. Oh. And they won an award, and I was just so happy because like that's got to be my favourite day. I so still good. need to remember, watch it. Remember when Justin oh, Bieber done the Calvin Klein it. shoot? Remember that? that was like years ago, wasn't it? No. Remember Justin Bieber done yeah, Calvin Klein shoot? Yeah, that would have been a long time ago. Yeah. Hit there on that. Ah, oh, him. Let me watch it. There's something about him. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a bit revealing, but there, isn't it? It's a fucking Calvin Klein ad. It's not jeans. Yeah, well, too revealing. Bit. No way. <laughs> Right, get me the, the late, get me the latest yeah. Anne Summers fucking advertisement up. <laughs> Go on then. I want to watch it. See which one's better. Give me the sexiest Anne Summers model. He's not fit, but he is fit. Do you know what I mean? That it's fucking body is body, is isn't it? It's like yours looks like that. Give me. I got carvings on. Go on, Let's get Anne Summers up then. Yeah, we'll yeah, compare yeah. them. I got some lovely carvings on. Bright blue ones. Oh, I took my blue ones off. I got some black ones on. He's now. got knickers out and pods. Put it away. What is the biggest lie you believed as a kid? <gasps> um, do you want to go first? No, because I can't think of one. Father biggest lie. Biggest lie ever. Yeah, but that's a nice lie, isn't it? Biggest lie ever. The police will literally pull you over if you got the light on inside the car. Oh, that's a good one. I believed yeah. that forever until about <laughs> last year. <laughs> no, I just, I said, when I passed my, when I started driving, then I sort of like obviously I got told that no, it's actually not against the law. My parents drilled down to my mind, back at the car, light on, you know, and like quick, the police will pull us over. Yeah, Did my, you not get that one. Yeah, yeah. So why does, why does every parent <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and they like <laughs> when we become a parent, that gets drilled into you as a parent, tell your kids this lie. Yeah, because they want to skate, so you don't do it. But why? Because I think it puts the driver off, doesn't it? Biggest lie I believed as a kid. My mine was you remember well, I feel like this is a lot of people's when if you ate a pip in like an grow apple inside and you. a tree would grow inside you, that freaked me out. Yeah, that's big scary. time. That did. But too fairy. I... Caught Louisa right in the act putting a quid under my pillow, bitch. And some people in my school were getting tenors. I went to yeah, state school. I got a ten pound so once. Just get, just a, get 50 pound notes. Yeah. What? Just get fifty pound notes. Of course you did. Shut no, I did. Actually, I'd get a pound going. Uh, no, you got a condom? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was my 17th birthday. Have you ever had knob cheese? Knob cheese? <laughs> <laughs> knob cheese. Uh, how have we got on for the biggest lie you've ever heard to, to knob cheese? No. I don't know, but if we watch it back, we'll Can't get it. Yeah. Right, what's Honestly, something you most. thought as a kid? Nice What's something you thought as a kid that you now know is mad? I.e. all dogs are boys, girls are cats are girls. What? Spanish. <laughs> Babble. <laughs> Beep Bob. <laughs> Julia Rob hurts. <laughs> hurts. <laughs> Why is this? Cynthia guy? is dead. Dead. Beep dead, dead. Beep <laughs> Bob. Ah, okay. We've got a game. 
Right, Chloe and big couple versus 20 words or less. It's basically glorified word association. So I've got a list of words. I'm going to say some, something to do with the word. For example, if the word was pillow. Right. I'm going to be like, oh, oh okay. comfy. And then you've got to guess my word. Yeah. What, can you only give me one word? Yes, yeah, one word. Who my brain is mush. Who do you want to guess for you? Liam. <laughs> well, because I don't fucking understand it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> one win. Give it to right, me, let's go. First one, hot. Kettle? No. <laughs> that would have been good, though. Shower? No. Well, can you keep guessing? Yeah, can you keep guessing? Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. From the top. Make it drop. <laughs> this is wet, wet ass, ass pussy. <laughs> okay, Get a right. bucket and a mop with no, this wet... Not. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hot. Sun? No. Snow. Still the same word. Weather? No. England. (laughs) Winter? Close. Icicles. Cold? Yes! (gasps) Did you get it? Yeah, but fuck, I thought you'd do something with hot. Yeah. It's opposite. Hot, cold, I thought you'd do. Yeah, but then... You would... But yeah, you would how think else something would you to do describe with something you cold? You don't even have jet lag. Right, ready for the next let's go, one? Let's go, let's go for the next one. Teeth. Mouth. Close. All right, if it's the opposite. Happy. Fucking gummy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. Oh, smile. Smile. Yeah, good one. Okay. Okay. Granola. Breakfast. No. Muller Corner. <laughs> Muller Corner. That's the brand, isn't it? Yeah. Muller like Muller Light. Yeah. Yogurt? Yes. Come on. Come on, mother. Right. A4. Paper. Yeah, come on. Come on. Trunks. Swimming? No. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Any- so wrong. Sarong. <laughs> what the fuck's a sarong? What? You don't, don't know what a sarong is? <laughs> oh, like a woman's dressing gown thing. <laughs> dressing gown? Like a thin dressing gown. No, like a cover up, like that you little, like, <laughs> oh, tie, similar. like, bikini. Oh, what did you want on holiday? Um, what are you doing on holiday? Bikini? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Blue. Sky. Green. Grass. No. Red. Rainbow. Orange. Fruit. Butter. <laughs> what is going on right now? <laughs> Quickly, do the remote. Butter. Paint. Sun. Colors. What the fuck? Sunflower. Petal. <laughs> uh, I think you might have lost this one. Uh, Yellow. No. Yellow. Yellow. Oh. Yellow? Yeah. Yeah, I did six there. Um, okay. Bottom. Boobs? <laughs> 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 Boobs. <laughs> Oh, you've been bought on my bum. <laughs> yeah. Shirt. <laughs> Top. Yeah. Yeah. What do you want to do now? Um, uh, football. Rugby. Fortnite. Gaming. Close. FIFA. No. No, it's a cheap... Take a birthday or two. PlayStation. Word. You got no. the word, but just game. not ingy. Game, yeah. game. game. Yeah. Um, red. Yellow. <laughs> with the face, face <laughs> trying to think <laughs> um um sunset <laughs> oh, ignore a color. that holiday it's a colour is it orange oh orange well no well, sunset is like um red. clubby versus the world podcast colour said <laughs> pink yeah right <laughs> oh a finger toes uh, vagina. 
Uh, finger? Tie finger, you know. No, no, no. Like me. You can't try it. Just one word. All right, hand. Legs. No. Um, hand job. Fingernails. Fingernails. Thumbnail. <laughs> you saying army? Th- thumbnail. Feet. <laughs> oh, no. Body. Thumb. Nails. Thumb. Yes, thumb. <laughs> the answer's thumb. Oh, you said thumbnails. Oh, you can't have that. Yeah, thumbnails. I Would get the point. Thumb, then? You said thumb in the word. Yeah, to get you, give you a better opportunity to get the answer. Yeah, well, I'll have that point. Because you were miles away. Fuck, what yeah, you thought was. was that? Yours. Okay. Um, I don't think you're very good at this. Canvas. Oh, that's yeah. quite good. Painting. That's a good one. Painting. Empty. Jar. Facial expression. What the fuck? A canvas with an empty face. <laughs> Mona Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing on there. Blank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, wet. Yeah, sorry. Pussy, <laughs> pussy, pussy. No. <laughs> makeup. Dry. Dry? Dry makeup. Dewy? Clean. Makeup. Brush. Clean. Clean. Wet. Brush. Wet brush. <laughs> Not brush. Wet brush. If it was brush, I would have said yeah, but it goes. <laughs> I didn't mean you heard me. <laughs> Wash. Clothes. Towel. Removal. Wet. <laughs> Removal. Lost. Removal of... Makeup. Lost, 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 yeah. lost. No. You said makeup. I said yeah. makeup. Removal of makeup. <laughs> what do you use? A wipe. Yeah. Look, you literally <laughs> so far lost it says. You do shit at this game. No, you shit. I'm giving you all the clues. <laughs> Literally didn't give me no help when I done it. It was like a lost puppy. Fucking jet lag. My brain is mush. Okay, okay. Three and a half. We bend off. Okay, then you ready for the next one? Mm. Uh, Water. Drink. Um, sand. Beach. Sea. Collection. Shells. Sand castle. Sand. Bucket, spade, bucket and spade. Bucket. Bucket, yeah. Bucket. <laughs> oh. Fucking hard. Bark. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Timber. Nelly Furtado. <laughs> <laughs> Touch me. <laughs> um, Roof. You. You don't do roofs. Boner. Penis. Roof boner. <laughs> Penis. Penis. Head. Blowjob. How has that got anything to do with timber and bark? And bark. Wood? Yes. yes. Didn't you just say wood? No, it's timber. Uh, okay, oh. last one. Go on, babe. Blue mountains. Omar. <laughs> Walking boots. March shoes. <laughs> uh, walk. A hike. Hike. Yeah. Well done. Done. So last time you were on the pod, Liam, you were pretending that you went with Millie. Well, I said I was seeing someone again, and I was in a relationship. Yeah, and you called her a pussy. And yeah, <laughs> pussy, old bruv. <laughs> <laughs> what else did she say? But yeah, so I was kind of like it was, at that point we were keeping it quiet. Um, so yeah, it was quite. Did you call the paps on yourselves when you went to Domino's? <laughs> oh my God. That was literally... We would tr- keep around the wraps and then I parked outside Domino's. Millie was in the car. I ran in to get food. Someone took a quick snap of us and then it was everywhere. But um, No, Liam went in and ordered the food. Yeah. And it was going to be like a 15 minute wait. Yeah. We were in the car outside. He's gone in and said his name's Liam and then come back in and then in 15 minutes went, can you go and get it? Yeah. And then oh, I've yeah. gone in and I've got and I'm a girl and I'm like, Liam. <laughs> like, and then everyone's just like, oh, Liam just walked no, in. But someone, like, Liam. What it was, someone saw me going originally, waited for me to come back. Yeah. And oh my God, they must have been rubbing their hands because I didn't walk in. Millie walked in. Mm. Said Liam. So obviously they just put two and two together. Because I tried to Took have photos a disguise, of everything. But... Took photos of my car, everything. And then, uh, yeah, then was in the press. But uh, yeah, when was the last time I was on the pod? Ages ago. It was like back in... It must have been like Mar- eight, March, April. April That's maybe. mad. Yeah, it was that so yeah. Fucking that long hell, ago. thanks. We've literally like got together in Feb, so it's literally been nearly a year. Oh, are you gonna have an anniversary or do you keep the old one? 
Mm, I wouldn't know where. I don't think we probably celebrate an anniversary. <laughs> Do you know? We've been together Maybe long Love enough. Love Island anniversary. Yeah, yeah, like when we twenty fifth of August. Well, it'd be twenty fifth of August then, because we the night of the final was twenty fifth of August, mm. and I asked May to be my girlfriend that night. When most people actually thought I was proposing to her. Remember that? Because <laughs> Laura said, "Do you think it'd be what? like you know boyfriend and girlfriend soon, or or marriage even?" And I said, uh, "Yeah, well, it's something I've been meaning to do." <laughs> so then, obviously, it looked like I was proposing to her. Oh, yeah. Love yeah. Island does work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We lasted it's this it. time round a little longer. Been together longer now than we were the first time. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because we didn't even make it a year the first time. No. Well, we let's not talk. We don't need to talk about that negativity. Put it back <laughs> in the box. We're here now on Chloe versus the world. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Li- Liam in our Li- house. And Chloe versus the world. Yeah. But um. Actually, that's actually how we do life. What? Chloe and the big couple versus the world. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Literally. Chloe lives life being um, the third wheel. But I'm a child. Of yeah. fair, I feel like I'm more the third wheel. <laughs> I feel like I'm the third wheel. Yeah. In it's like Millie and Chloe and then... Oh, I'm going to die off. I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the third wheel. <laughs> you literally my he dad. He literally said it to me earlier in oh, the kitchen. He said, you, you and Chloe just doing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Working on my speech. Literally <laughs> that. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, what? Well, come on holiday with us and Liam. I will come on holiday, yeah. Do you want to come Keep to Keep an eye on make sure there's no Omars floating about. Can't. Nothing wrong with yeah. Omar. Yeah, well, he seemed like a nice guy, to be fair. Nice bloke. He was lovely. Yeah, he seemed like a nice guy. Good tour guide. Guy you can over. be our tour guide next. Yeah, I will. We need to get Chloe to come to Merpeted Field. You still haven't come. What do I need to do? You Have... haven't been to Bista? What does it... I've been there, actually. I'm from there. Been there, Yeah. What are we going to do in Bista? Go shopping. Bista Village. Literally been there already. Okay. Come to Wales. I'll take you down the coast, up the mountains. You haven't even come to a panda yet. A panda event. Literally. Oh. Worst friend in the world. I, 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 I work I know a you do. lot. Look, come, a weekend spend in Wales. That would be fun. Oh, come. Show you what we get up to in Wales. Do a few hikes, cold yeah, water. Show you what you get up to. You know how we feel on a hangover, so. We don't have to be hangover. For one weekend in your life, we can not do hangover. Not every weekend uh, hangover. Not we, comprehending we what you're saying. We can have a few. We can go for dinner, a few beers. Next day, go for a hike and a cold water dip. Perfect. That's a perfect weekend for me. You know how much I wait till the summer. Hate the Blue Mountain. <laughs> yeah. Well, my legs were hurting for four. I've got dench quads from that hike. <laughs> dench. They're looking dench. To be fair. Thank you, brother. I'm Millie's are big mills. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I'd love you to come down to Wheels. All right, I'll come. We'll make a little weekend of it. I'll come in February. No, I'll come in. It's a bit hotter. It's cold in Wales. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, the weather's been really, really nice. It's, it's, been, it's been Baltic for the past week, but past 10 days, but there's been clear skies and sun. Are you getting commission off that? Yeah, I actually love the weather like that. <laughs> Obviously, I'd like to be hotter, but clear. I just hate the rain. I love a nice cold it winter's day, clear day. skies, sun. Oh, no. Yeah. You're not selling it to Chloe. I think you no, need to say, look. If you were look, saying, let's all go to Australia, I would book the flight. I, w- I want to go to Australia. I want to go. But I've recently just left Essex and moved back to Wales. Um, and yeah, it's been a good move. I'm happy. Ah, good. Good. Yeah. Hard but now we move to Australia. Oh, yeah, we're not right now, obviously. We're fucking going we've got in October, a couple of things so coming up. get your visa yeah. done. We've we're got bouncing. Maybe b- by Christmas time. Mate, we're may, bouncing. Maybe in Australia. We're done with UK. Our lease is up in November, so we're, we're thinking that's, leaving. that's the time to go. Let's do it. I'm happy. Wow! All right, on that note, I'm going to leave you all that little chestnut. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Liam, bet on that. <laughs> What? Your tongue's so small. Uh, do it again. It's not about the sizes. <laughs> mm, <laughs> do it again. Do Your tongue is so small. It's not. Sorry, I've got stuff on my tongue now. Right? <laughs> Stop trying, everyone. <laughs> Put your tongue back in your mouth. Put your tongue back in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it works well, doesn't it? Get. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, do down. not forget to like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> See you all next week. Bye. Bye.